Continuing on in Euclidean geometry, let's take a look at some of the at the thing that gives us similar triangles. And the thing that gives us similar triangles is the parallel projection theorem. And the parallel projection theorem says that if you have L, M, and N, and they are distinct parallel lines, this is where the Euclidean parallel postulate comes into play, because if L and M are parallel and N is also parallel to one of them, it doesn't have to be parallel to the other um, unless you're in a Euclidean geometry. And we're going to let T be a transversal that cuts L, M, and N at A, B, and C. Then let T prime be a transversal that cuts L, M, and N at A prime, B prime, and C prime. Then the ratio of AB to AC is the ratio of A prime, B prime to A prime, C prime. This is the parallel projection theorem. So here's the idea. The idea is we suppose that AB is to AC as P is to Q, uh, where P over Q is some rational number. And then what we do is we break up this distance into little cutes. Right? We break these up into little bit little cutes. And there are P of the cutes up here. There are Q little uh, segments, and P of those Q segments are up here. That's the idea. And we construct parallel lines through each of those cut points, P over Q, some rational number. And then we take advantage of a lemma. So let's go to the lemma. The lemma says, let L, M, and N be distinct parallel lines. And let T be a transversal that cuts L, M, and N at A, B, and C with B between A and C. And let T prime be a transversal that cuts L, M, and N at A prime, B prime, and C prime. If A, B is congruent to B, C, then A prime, B prime is congruent to B prime, C prime. This is the lemma. So here's what we do. We recognize that this is a, a line. It's a transversal. And we can construct a line parallel to T through A prime. And we construct a line parallel to T through B prime. So that T, T double prime, T triple prime, they're all parallel. Because they're all parallel, this is a parallelogram, this is a parallelogram. Uh, so this will be B double prime. Uh, this will be C triple prime. I think that takes care of everything I need. Uh, but the important piece is this piece. And the piece where we know because these are parallel lines cut by a transversal and we're in a Euclidean geometry, this angle is the same as this one. This angle is the same as this one, right? And this angle is the same as this one, right? Parallel lines cut by transversals. So you got two parallel lines cut by a transverse. Oh, hello. Cut by a transversal, so those are definitely congruent. Uh, 
And now triangle A prime B prime B double prime is congruent to triangle B prime C prime C double prime by angle side angle. And that means money A prime B prime equals B prime C prime. Now, why does that matter? Apply the lemma Q times here. Each of these little pieces is congruent to each of these little pieces. Each of these little pieces, they're all in the same ratio. And so sure enough, AB is to AC as A prime B prime is to A prime C prime. We apply the lemma over and over and over again until we get okay if all of these little pieces are the same then all of these little pieces are the same and so p out of the q here is the same as p out of the q here so then the question becomes what do we do if a b over a c is not rational what do we do if it's not two-thirds or three-fourths, but, but one over root two? And here, we, we appeal to analysis, and we appeal to the fact that in analysis, we define every irrational number as the limit of a sequence of well-behaved rational numbers. And because we can apply parallel projection for each of those well-behaved rational numbers and the sequence behaves well, we can make a jump using some tools of analysis. I'm not going to do that here because this is not a course in analysis, but we can use some tools from analysis to make the jump that, okay, this theorem should apply for numbers like 1 over root 2. So it's parallel projection that lets us play with similar triangles in the first place. So that's the thing we bear in mind when we start playing with similar triangles in the next lesson video.